Uh, Dr. Mr. Russell Speaker. Norman, five minutes in reply. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, it's clear during this debate there's not a lot of knowledge about responsible investment, particularly on government side of the, of the House. And the Norwegian Pension Fund, one of the biggest uh, sovereign wealth funds in the world, over US $500 billion um, under management, um, has some of the strongest responsible investment guidelines of any of the sovereign wealth funds, by far, actually, um, and has been a very successful fund. So when the government says, um, oh, well, we can't have responsible investment guidelines, it'll destroy the, um, the New Zealand Super Fund, well, that's just because they don't really know what's going on in the world, um, and there's a lot of things happening in the world. On the other hand, the, the National Party, on the one hand, arguing that responsible investment will destroy the Cullen Fund, on the other hand, argues that um, they already have responsible investment guidelines, um, and so we don't really need this bill. Um, but they can't have it both ways. Uh, so it's not a consistent position that the government's taken because there isn't really a, a logical argument there, um, which I think is pretty sad. Um, the government also argues that we can't have standards, or red tape as they call it. Now, of course, this is the National Party that bought us the Leaky Homes disaster, um, $20 billion Leaky Homes disaster because the National Party weakened the rules around housing. It is also the National Party which has brought us a lot of dead miners uh, because they wanted to weaken the rules around the regulation of health and safety legislation at work. So it seems to me that while the National Party consistently opposes standards, um, consistently opposes standards, nonetheless standards are important. And so the Green Party believes standards matter. And so for that reason we have no problem with adding a fourth dimension um, to the current guidelines that are in the bill. And I think Shane Jones um, actually hit the nail on the head um, because Shane Jones, and I thought was a very good speech, um, actually said the investment fund already has a kind of responsible investment guideline when they talk about avoiding prejudice to New Zealand's reputation as a responsible member of the world community. Um, and so there is already a relatively weak responsible investment guideline, and what we're trying to do is strengthen it up, particularly around sustainability and climate change. Um, and I think that that is a worthwhile thing to achieve, and I, I thank the Labor Party, New Zealand First, um, and of course the Greens, um, and MANA um, for supporting that bill, um, this proposal. I think Really, when it comes down to it, climate change is one of the most difficult issues that we have to deal with as a species. Um, it's difficult because it requires action now for future gain, really. So most of the gain isn't going to be from us here now. Um, it's going to be from those in the future. It requires collective global action, and that's a very difficult thing to coordinate. Um, so those two things make it extremely difficult, I think, for our species to deal with climate change and to make the kind of changes we need. It requires challenging existing vested interests, vested interests that could have a very strong voice today, in order to advance the interests of those who are yet to be born. Um, so it's a really difficult problem because we have very powerful vested interests and we've heard them speak one after another from the National Party today. Um, we have those powerful vested interests which have a one vote majority in this parliament who are against taking action on climate change. And that makes it very difficult when you have those powerful vested interests today. It also requires an understanding of science. Um, and I think that clearly, um, and we've seen it again tonight, um, and we've seen it often from the National Party who have opposed taking action on climate change over a very long time, they think it's very difficult. Um, it's very difficult for a lot of people to get their head around the science. So when you put all of those problems together, you can see why, as a species, we've had so much trouble dealing with this problem. Um, of climate change. But the reality is, is that if we read the science, if we read the reports from the international organisations, what comes through very clearly is that we need to take action today in order to avoid out of control climate change, which will have a dramatic impact on people who are being born today. We're seeing just the very beginning of it today. And so, well, uh, I think it's very likely this bill won't get the numbers in this House today. Um, there are enough of us who are determined to do something so that over time we will make progress because if we don't make progress on this critical issue it will be our children and our children's children and to some degree even ourselves who will suffer as a result. I commend this bill to the House. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye.